In today's video, we're going to be creating the yin yang that I created for the speedrunning short, except step by step, a bit slower so that you can see why we do exactly what we do. In our default scene, we're going to go ahead and press X and delete the cube. Then we're going to press Shift A and under mesh, we're going to add in a cylinder. Now, before we do anything, we're going to go to the bottom left drop down menu and expand it and increase the vertices to something like 128 to make it much smoother. Then we can collapse the menu and continue with the rest of it. So let's scale this down on the z-axis to something like 0.1 just so that we have a disk that will form the base of our yin yang model. Now the basic idea is going to be to create one yin yang or at least half of it and then duplicate that half to create the whole thing. So in order to do that the first thing that we'd like to do is make the cylinder half and then remove a portion of a circle from it on one side and add in the portion of the circle on the other side to create half of the yin yang. So let's go ahead and make the cylinder half. So if we go into edit mode by pressing tab or changing over here, you'll realize that the entire face is still one single face and we can't cut it in half. So in order to get rid of only half of it, we need to use the knife tool, which can be accessed by pressing the letter K. So when we go to the knife tool, we can just snap to the nearest vertex and click and then go ahead and snap to the opposite vertex and click to create a cut. And now the top has been split into two faces. So we can press Ctrl 7 to go to the bottom view and do the same thing for the bottom face. Press K, click this vertex, go down and click this vertex and press Enter to confirm the selection. Now we can go ahead and press 1 to go to our front view and just toggle X-ray so that we can see through everything. Press B for box select and just select everything on the right hand side and press X, delete faces. So now we have exactly half of a cylinder. So in order to actually get half of a cylinder added in, we're going to be using Boolean modifiers. So we're going to add in another cylinder. So we're going to press mesh cylinder. Go ahead and you'll notice that the vertices are going to be set to whatever you changed last time. So we don't have to worry about this this time. Scale on the Z axis to something like 0.1 because that's exactly how much we scaled the previous one to. And then we can scale it by 0.5 on everything but the Z axis. So we press Shift Z and enter. Now we can grab it on the Y axis by pressing GY and just moving it by 0.5 units so that it's in the right place. But you'll notice that because they're the exact same heights, this region doesn't exactly know which face is on top. And that causes a few issues when adding the Boolean modifier. So in order to fix that, we're just going to take our smaller cylinder that we're going to change the name to small cylinder just so that we don't get confused later on and we're going to press S Z 1.001. What that does is adds in a negligible amount of height which can't be seen but helps the computer make decisions on which side to be added and removed. So now we can go ahead and select our original cylinder, go to the modifiers properties and add in a boolean modifier. We're going to go ahead and for the object select our small cylinder and then apply the modifier. Now you'll see that the original cylinder has a cut in the shape of the smaller cylinder, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we can take the smaller cylinder, grab it on the Y axis and just move it down by one unit. And now we have to add this to the cylinder. So to do that, again, select our cylinder, add modifier, Boolean. And this time, since we're adding it, we're going to change from difference to union. And for the object, again, select our small cylinder. And then we can go ahead and apply it. So once we've applied it, we can just hide our small cylinder for now. And this is our original yin yang shape. You can switch off transparency. And there you see we have our yin yang. Now, since this is just half the shape, we're going to have to press shift D R Z 180 and now we have the other half of our yin yang. So here we have both the pieces to our yin yang. Just to prevent confusions you could go ahead and label them over here but we'll not do that for now. Now the next thing about this is the yin yang has a darker circle in the light region and a lighter circle in the dark region. So to add those in we're just going to use our small cylinders itself. But now remember this small cylinder has to be half the size so we're going to press S shift Z 0.5 but because we used the cylinder's height to be added on, this is again going to have the same issue where Blender won't know which side comes front. You can just scale that on the Z axis by 1.01 and now it won't cause that issue. Then you can shift D, Y, 1 and you have a cylinder on the other side as well. Now we can go ahead and apply the materials. So what we'll do is we'll just go into rendered view over here, take our light, Alt G to clear the location, then grab it on the Z axis and just move it up just so that it's above our yin yang. Right now it just looks 
like a single thing because all of them are the same color. So let's go ahead and apply the materials. Let's go to the materials properties over here, add in a new material, go ahead and change the base color to black and you'll see that it's reflecting a lot of the light. To prevent that, just go ahead and increase the roughness as well as the metallic and you'll get a nice black. Now we can select our smaller circle in the light region and go ahead and give it that same material. Remember this time we're doing everything using actual meshes but if you do want to know how to create this procedurally using just materials, you can check this video up in the top right corner right after you're done with this video. Similarly, the white could be fine if you're happy with it. If not, just select it, create a new material and increase the base color to an even brighter white. And of course, you could make it emissive if you feel like you could do a lot of variations, change the metallic value, the roughness values and all of that to get exactly what suits your animation. So hopefully this tutorial helped you understand why we did what we did when creating this particular yin yang symbol. You can animate all of these how you want. You can join all of them into a single object once you're done as well by pressing by selecting all of them and hitting control J and then you can go ahead and actually change the origin to geometry and rotate it on the z-axis and do a lot of fun animations with it. So if you found this helpful don't forget to stay tuned for all of the future videos that are coming up. And until they do, don't forget to stay creative.